Hello everybody, it is me, Sacred G. Welcome back to another video. I talk about video games and life stuff from time to time. So without further ado, let's get in with the start of the video. Alright, we all know those types of people that, you know, when they interject themselves into, you know, a heated arg already heated argument, or, you know, if they did something wrong, they like to point the fucking finger... Uh, doesn't matter which finger, your sixth or, you know, your pointer finger at someone or something else. And I'm talking about these, uh, these victimhood people. Yeah. You know, the people that can't take accountability. And I'm gonna, I'm talking about, like, why I think they make the worst friends, in my opinion, or, you know, one of the worst friends. They're not, like, you know, evil. And some of the times, you know, I will say that there are times where I don't think they mean to do the shit that they do. I mean, if, let's say, you're in a uh, friendship, and this friendship has been years and years and years of friendship, right? Like, you're close friends, and they do this. I'd recommend talking to them about it, but I'm referring to the people who you barely fucking know. Don't bother to get to know you, whether that be in-laws, whether that be, you know, a family member, uh, or, you know, a biological family member, um, step-sibling, whatever the case is, friend, and... <sighs> Dude, these people are, I mean, and I'm referring to, you know, then I would say talk to them if you really care and, you know, you want to continue being, you know, involved with this person or having them in your life. But I'm referring to the person who you barely know, okay? They don't barely, they barely bother to talk to you, okay? And what I mean by this is that, you know, they don't talk to you at all, and then, you know, when conflict happens, they interject themselves into, an are again, as I stated earlier, an already heated argument, and you go and apologize for your end of it, because apologizing is not a selfish act, it's actually you admitting your fault, right? It's you, you taking accountability, if that makes sense. At least that's why I apologize, so I can remind myself to not do that dumb shit again, okay? And then, you know, when you do that, they play the victim. They uh, blame their trauma, which is really kind of funny uh, looking at it. I'm re and uh, the people who intentionally do this to deflect the blame. These people, bro, have an accountability issue. If they're intentionally doing this to direct the blame somewhere else. And what I mean by this is that if they did something that, you know, uh, is just not really unforgivable, but if they, you know, equally jumped into this argument, let's say this is the example, and they jumped, in, they jumped in, intervened themselves, and they said some things that, you know, <laughs> I mean, they, they, they had part in it, is what I'm saying, and they said some things to you that pissed you off, and it was pretty hurtful, or whatever the case is, you know, the key thing being, it was hurtful, these motherfucking crybabies would rather blame trauma or you okay they put the key thing is they put the blame on something they either blame their past they blame in, in a way too when they do that they're blaming you it's like oh you should know you should know that i am a traumatized crybaby and i uh do this and that and the reason i'm even making fun of that for to begin with is because well you question if the trauma is even actually fucking real Instead of, uh, you know, you believing the person, I'd always question that um, if, you know, they you know that they were they had a part in, in it in whatever the case, the thing is that was hurtful. They they bring up their trauma. Oh, woe is me. Oh, you know, I have everybody in my life screwed me over this, that, the third. I'm I'm a crybaby bitch. <laughs> uh, essentially, that is what they're doing. Um, they're deflecting blame. And the reason I think these people are just a pain in the ass to be around is because they pretty much don't take accountability and they're going to do it again because, you know, if you can't own up to your mistake, why, why not just do it again? You know, why, why not just sit there and say the most hurtful shit again and blame something else or someone else? Okay. And I'm talking about the people who intentionally do this. I think there are times where we as, in, as humans tend to play the victim, okay? But the thing is, the difference between us 
and these people who intentionally do it is that we recognize that we we try not to do it again okay we take accountability these people don't they they and, and they won't learn from their mistakes because of the fact that they put it on something else okay you, like you can't learn from your mistakes if you continuously put shit on someone or something else and that could be you know your trauma using that to your advantage or to their advantage at least it's just weird it's dumb these people aren't worth hanging around in my opinion because these people are just a tiring fucking cry baby fest bitch <laughs> i don't know Key thing is, these people just don't learn from their mistakes, and you will notice, like, I think to me the biggest sign of a victim player, and I mean the person who intentionally plays the victim to make you feel guilty, because even though, they're, as I said earlier, they're blaming someone or something else, and if they're blaming their trauma, they're inevitably blaming you, and I think I already went over that, but that's what they're doing. They're trying to make you feel like shit, because, oh well, how dare you say mean things to me, even though I'm the one who interjected myself into the already, uh, heated discussion, you know, it's not like, you know, they, they, they expect you to treat them with royalty, which is the most funniest thing. Cause this happened to me a couple months ago, you know, uh, this person interjected themselves into an argument, uh, I was having with somebody else and it was already heated and, you know, I apologized for, uh, you know, calling them names and whatnot. And the thing is, is that, you know, after I did, the person literally started saying that everyone in their life screwed them over. They didn't take accountability for their part in this, which to me is fucking insanely ridiculous. I've been through this once before and it's not fun. I had another buddy, actually, who where we both said some stupid shit to each other. It was a two-sided thing and I apologized for my end. And uh, he wanted to make it seem like that I was the cause of it. And I was the only one who said horrible things. And same thing with this person. Instead of, you know, the, the difference between these two was that uh, one person out, outright blamed me. They both actually did, in a sense, if that makes sense. Like, you know, oh, well, I had nothing to do with it. You should know that I'm traumatized. Really? I, sh I should... Pay attention to that instead of you growing and learning from your trauma and learning how to deal with it. In my own opinion, if people blame their trauma on situations where they need to take accountability, I'm going to question your trauma because legit traumatized people, from my own experience, I could be wrong. They do. They don't use or weaponize their trauma against another fucking person. They don't. I mean, like, why bring up your trauma? Because all it's going to do is trigger you, right? I think people who want attention say this shit. They say, well, my trauma, blah, 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 blah. They put it on their trauma. And again, they can't take accountability. These people fucking suck, dude. They're crybabies. Ignore them. Like, the way to tell that you're in the right is pretty much when you own up to your mistake. Like, that's why, I, that's why I said apologizing is not just apologizing, it's you letting yourself know you're taking taking accountability, and you are taking accountability. Anywho, that's me, Saker G, just wanted to kind of fucking vent about these retards, or I mean, sorry, these people, because they're a fucking pain in the ass. Like, I know, I get it, there are times where we make mistakes and we may play the victim at times, but I'm referring to the people who in, in, intentionally weaponize trauma or you to put all the blame on you because honestly they won't learn and they'll do the same shit again because well they put it on something else so why not you know like they 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 won't learn from their mistakes and they'll continue to make the same and in pretty much insult you in ways that they already did because well they put it on something else you don't learn that way you don't grow that way anywho that's me sacred g thank you guys so much for watching and listening Again, just wanted to vent about this, so peace the fuck out, and you guys have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Also, hold on, hold the phone, come back here. Come back here, I'm not done. One other thing I did forget to mention is that these people will never apologize, because, as I said many times already, they put the blame on something else, because they don't feel the need to apologize, because, well, they were traumatized. Even though they took part in the... Well, I guess we could say negotiation, you know, quotes there. 
or in to, in the fight. They also called you names, but now they just don't apologize. I'm going to say this. I've been seeing videos uh, how to force somebody to apologize. No, you cannot force somebody to apologize. If they can't take the initiative to apologize to you for what they, for their side of the thing or whatever it is, their side of it, then they don't care. You know, they, they really think that they're justified because, well, they put the blame on something else or someone else. And, you know, as I said earlier, you know, inevitably it's still blaming you. It's making you feel guilty because you should know that they're traumatized. Oh, my God. Yeah. So and also not only that, they're excusing their behavior like they're brushing it off when they put it on someone or something else. So that's neat to know. So I will see you guys in the next video. Now I'm signing off. Just wanted to add that. Love y'all. Bye.